The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia was written by, uh, I was married to the guy that wrote that for about 10 minutes, and uh, it was the only good thing that came out of the whole marriage. It was just a disaster, but he wrote this song, and um, then he didn't, he didn't like it. And uh, he was, we were down in Nashville, one night he was in a studio demoing all of his material, and he didn't, he, I, no sign of Georgia. And I said, well, what? He said, well, I don't, I don't like it. And I said, I'm sorry, but that song is a huge smash. And he said, well then, if you like it so much, you do the demo, and he left. And I stayed in this little bitty studio with one musician who literally uh, put down a guitar track, rolled the tape back, put down a drum track, rolled the tape back, put down a bass track, rolled the tape back, said, okay, put on a vocal. And that was literally. And uh, we took it out, we brought it out to Hollywood to um, Bobby's producers, Bobby Russell. Uh, who wrote Little Green Apples, and I, if you remember Little Green Apples, a year old. Anyway, uh, he was a, you know, it was, he was a songwriter. So he we t took it to his producer who said, this is good, I really like this song a lot, I'm going to send it over to Liza Minnelli. And I went, Liza Minnelli is not right for this song. Because now I'm like, now I've got to prove the things I hit, because I know I'm right. He said, maybe you're right, I'll send it over to Cher is what I'll do. Uh, because he had done a lot of, Bobby's producer had done a lot of stuff with Cher back in the Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves time, and uh, gosh, what else did she do? Um, what was the Indian song? Oh, um, Half Breed. Uh, Half Breed, yeah, he did that. He did yeah, a lot of her. I know Half Breed, I'm old. Yeah, you're old. Um, yeah, he did a lot of those in that, in that um, time period. Anyway, she never got to hear it. Sonny heard it and thought that it was just not, he said it needs to be rewritten, it's going to offend the South, it's not like it. So by now, Snuff's got this kind of a new deal with Bell Records. Uh, and uh, he's antsy to get in and record something. So he said, let's just take Vicky in and do it. And to this day, it is, uh, as far as I know, I haven't talked to Snuff in a while, but it, it, it was his record holder for many, many years. He had the uh, track down, he had all the vocals on, he had it mixed, mastered, dubbed, and in the, uh, in the mail to New York in three hours. And I still, to this day, hear it and think, gosh, I wish I could do that top harmony part one more time. <laughs> just, the, just one more time. <laughs> but yeah, and yeah, it took a long time for it to become a hit. It was like uh, having a baby. It was about nine months. But uh, I was right. Yeah, and you had a hit. Yeah, I had a hit, and then it was the ultimate demise of an already doomed marriage. So uh, it kind of was a bittersweet sort of a finish the album and I kind of didn't really stick with the recording too much because it was not a really happy experience but I was right about Georgia. Yeah.